Hi, this is Vru, and today we are reading between the lines in my track Anasa out on Fever AM. Um, we're going to start with the kind of, I guess it's a bass line, percussive mid bass thing, which is uh, a sample of myself. Like I do a lot of long recordings and then kind of stuff goes through like in, out, in, out, record it back in, lots of effects. Um, I'm just gonna show like an original recording and how it ended up. This was um, using the MFB Tans bar, Tans bear, and um, Big Sky, everything, I mean, almost everything goes through the filter bank. Um, so I do kind of, little riffs, uh, percussive lines and stuff. Uh, and then I put this through Audacity, which I use a lot. Um, really simple, fun to use, very basic. Um, slowed it down. And then we have this bass line, which is kind of the, the grounding of the track, I guess. So, um, the next part I'd like to show is kind of the, I mean, the way this track is set up, it almost has a chorus in a way. Yeah. Which is a, a sound from the Pro 2. Then I use, there's this plugin called Synaptic Morph, which is a really, really great plugin. Um, very simple, it literally just morphs two sounds together. We've got, that's the clean synth, just from Pro 2, and that's the other side. So it's literally A, B, and that's again a sound that's just been slowed down using mostly pull stretch on uh, in Audacity. Uh, it kind of gives, basically Morph, it gives um, everything this really crystally kind of sound design-y alien feel. I don't really like using many uh, clean direct sounds, whether it's from a drum machine or a synth. I kind of have a tendency to fuck everything up. Um, and then, yeah, we get this really nice sort of textured sound and the notes are still coming through. And yeah, I'm basically obsessed with this plugin, so go check it out. Very simple, easy to use. Another sort of part, melodic part to the track. This pad, again from uh, Pro 2 which I can actually show the, how I got there, I guess. If we play the MIDI. So that's the clean sound from, um, just a preset on the Pro 2, which I'd filter and take th uh, pass through effects. So this is going through the Strymon Big Sky, which I use very much, uh, Waldorf Mini Works, and the Rainbow Machine, which is also a very fun little pedal. You can kind of pitch stuff. Basically, yeah, again, everything's kind of a bit off. Nothing clean. That's not the exact sound of the track, but just wanted to show how I kind of got there. It ended up sounding like that. So again, that's underlying throughout the whole track, basically, along with that. Yeah, so we've got these two so far that are almost from start to finish, I suppose. I kind of lay the groundwork, all like leading towards that chorus. Um, which then, following the kind of intro chorus that we went through, 
with this synth. We kind of get to the vocal part. Um, I do also kind of sample, I basically have break time from when I'm recording and doing stuff. I kind of have, or if I'm eating, I tend to watch movies. And a lot of times it's been, I'll be watching something, it's like, okay, that's great. And it adds a bit of magic to the track where it wasn't, I wasn't sort of intending to use vocals. I wasn't like, okay, this track needs a vocal. Um, it just happened naturally. And then I was watching Midsummer one day. And there's this, just this bit where the girl, the star of the film is um, just umming and ahhing, kind of like, um, ah. Uh, so I chopped that up, threw all these clips into a drum rack. <laughs> so when I got that, it was like a little bit of magic because it's literally a bit where she's going, um, uh, and it ended up sounding like singing. Uh, I doubled up the layer, pitched the other one slightly differently. So we got again, this kind of off, slightly awkward sound. <laughs> Trying to do some harmonies in a way. Uh, and that created a chorus. So I kind of accidentally found this chorus along with the main synth. Um, yeah, I basically think uh, I've been really getting into structuring tracks a lot more. So it's not just a flowing techno thing which of course I like a lot of, but I'm really interested at the moment of having some kind of structure, you know, this happens and this happens, uh, trying to find a balance between the club and actually being listenable in a way. So this was really useful because it gave me the whole idea of how to structure the actual thing. Instead of kind of shooting in the dark, I was like, okay, we've got a chorus, we need to lead up to the first bit, then introduce the vocal, and then we kind of have that breakdown. Um, and then it kind of wrote itself in a way, which is great when that happens, when you're not kind of torturing yourself, uh, looking for the answer. I guess the beat is also a very kind of important part of this. Uh, again, it's kind of based on the same, the same way I did the synth and most stuff, where I'll have a kind of long recording and then edit it and sample myself and resample and all that. Kind of a beat, right? It's very textural. And I'm gonna show the original. So that's the clean sound, which itself is a full on recording of, um, it's, I think it's like Vamona NK2 and Tansbear put through the filter bank. My magic baby. Yeah, lots of toms, you can kind of hear that. And they get a really nice colored sound with the filter bank. Um, but then through the morph becomes this strange textured thing. And I can add a, another sound here. And that's a clean sound. You see there. Which is also good creating tension, little moments, lots of little edits. And you can add as many channels as you want to kind of affect the original morph channel. So here we've got two, two channels here feeding into that original beat recording. CPU's a bit maxed out. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about this plugin. If you use a few, it kind of takes all the power. Um, but yeah, it creates a lot of um, interesting sounds. I think that's what I just really enjoy. Not like, oh, this is a clean 808 sound and that's it. It's every kind of sound has its story. So I find that I'm basically trying to keep myself entertained. So that's quite, that's 
that kind of sums it up. And um, that's about it. But if there's any further questions about any parts or the stuff we've talked about, feel free to comment and I'll get back to everyone. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.